Hey guys, it's Troy from the Chaos ULC fanbase, and I'm back with my first Chaos ULC video. And yes, you are supposed to see my face. We got 20 likes on the last video, and I did as promised. Show you my face. Thank you for the support on this channel. Anyways, as you can see from the title of this video, we will be talking about elven desserts. In a fantastical kingdom like the Lost Cities, there come sweet and magical desserts. So, if you want to learn more about these delicious foods, keep watching. But before I can tell you what elves eat, there is something very important that I need to tell you. As some of you may already know, all elves across the Lost Cities are vegetarians and don't eat meat-based products. This is because of the fact that elves' minds are more fragile, and killing another elf or creature can make them feel guilty and slowly break the elves' mind. So, to replace meats from their diets, gnomes grow an assortment of unique and divine crops for the elves to eat and bake with. They taste like varying human foods though, as Sophie states that herself. Now that you know, let's get on to desserts. First up, and probably one of the best, is the Malamel. Malamel is a gooey-like cake that melts inside of your mouth. Sophie said this was the best thing she had ever eaten. It tastes like chocolate chip cookies, ice cream, and butterscotch all in one. I need this right now. Next up is the beloved Pudding Puffs. As you can see from the image, Pudding Puffs are puffy and fun cake squares that taste like vanilla ice cream and apple pie. Wow. The next dessert is the Fancy Elven Custard Burst. They are purple and pink puffy squares that have hard candy on the outside, despite its marshmallowy appearance, and sweet, warm goo on the inside. It also does fall into its name pretty well. When you first bite into the dessert, you get a rush of flavor from the goo, hence the burst in its name. And there's even more. There are five delicious flavors. You can try chocolate, chocolate cherry, lush berry, butterscotch, and caramel. Someone needs to give me this. Alrighty, this next dessert is Oldie Buck Goodie. Behold the Indigoobers. Indigoobers contain bright blue and sweet berries that are clustered together with chocolate. The insides of the berries ooze out delicious goo. Indigoober out. This next one is a classic elven dessert, the Ripple Nuts. Ripple Nuts are round yellow nuts on the outside, but are cracked for the delicious juice on the inside. The juice tastes like cinnamon, butter, caramel, vanilla, and honey. I wish humans had delicious tasting nuts. Oh well, moving on. Fluff creams are a delicious flaky pastry that is made with honey, butter, and cinnamon. Yum. The next one is Blitzenberry Muffins. Blitzenberry Muffins are golden colored muffins colored with purple splotches from the Blitzenberries. The berries pop and fizz to enhance the magical muffin. I didn't say Ripple Nuts, I said Ripple Fluffs. Ripple Fluffs are buttery cupcakes with a scrumptious brownie inside. A hidden candy is also contained inside of the cupcake. The top is frosted with white icing and a silver wrapping is put around the cupcake. Wow. This next dessert is out of this world. It's the moon cake. No pun intended. The moon cakes look like a human the human dessert petite fours, but taste like marshmallows and fudge dipped in a creamy chocolate. Who can't like that? Behold one of the most popular candies among kids. It's the Prattles candies. It offers a soft and sweet caramel chew, as well as a pin that is represented by an animal in the Lost Cities. One pin is made for every creature in the Lost Cities, so some are very rare, like the Alicorn pin. This one is probably the most fun out of all the desserts. The Mood Candy. This is a type of candy that every elf enjoys. The candy changes color and flavor based on your moods or emotion. Now that's fun. The following desserts were very briefly mentioned in the books. The first being the White Flakes candy that was given after the opening ceremonies. In the second book of the Chaos ULC series, White Flakes that tasted like varying fruits are mentioned. In book 4, a pastry top with a thin layer of pink jam is also mentioned. And in Book 6, a pastry with caramel drizzled on top is mentioned. The shoutout for today's video goes to Sophie Foster the Telepath. Thank you so much for the comment. If you want a shoutout in the next video, comment asking for one. That's about it for this video. I hope you learned a lot more about oven desserts. If you like this video, smash that like button and subscribe to our channel. If you'd like to be notified when we upload, hit the bell icon beside the subscribe button. And comment below what your favorite elven treat that I mentioned today was. That's about it guys, so I'll see you in the next one.